scenario would be one point for the step out, one point. So what's the difference between this and this? So there's a couple differences. So when you're asking for passivity in three-man mechanics, you're always going to put your hand out here like this. When it gets confirmed, you'll put your hand up here like that. So your passivity is confirmed, you blow your whistle, stop, give the wrestler the attention, or put him on the floor. Okay. Now for cautions, you're always going to put your hand out to the side and the points up. So, and then once the caution gets confirmed, you have your hand and the points up. So that's how you tell the difference between passivity and caution. So if the points are up with the hand, then you're looking for a caution. If it's just the hand, you're looking for passivity. So, one hand is passivity. If you see the hand and points, then it's asking for a caution. And then once either gets confirmed, then the hand goes up. So if you have a caution that's confirmed, it'll look like this. So, it's passivity when, like, they're not doing it. So, don't think of passivity like stalling. Think of it just as lack of scoring points. If you have a zero zero period with a minute left in the first one, you have to put someone in the car. So that's when you do passivity and then. So at like a minute and 15, you would say like no action. A minute and five, no action. As soon as it hits a minute, or sorry, a minute and 20, you would start saying no action. A minute and 10, you would say no action again. Okay. And like a minute and five left in the period, then you would start asking for it. And hopefully by a minute, it's confirmed. Okay. So it'll be like passive blue or three. I'm gonna hop out here.